In this section, we're going to look at the transmission of power in pipelines. Transmission of power in pipelines is calculated in terms of head, as we have done before. And in the illustration below, you can see we have a pipe with an inlet on the left and the outlet on the right. Q is our discharge through the pipe. And if we multiply that by rho, or the density of the fluid, we get our mass flow rate. On the left, we've got the inlet head. Through the pipe, we've got the head loss due to friction, HF. And on the right, we've got HP, which is our outlet head. So the inlet power would be rho GQH, while the outlet power is rho GQHP. And to put this into an equation, our inlet head is equal to the friction loss through the pipe plus the outlet head. Or putting the outlet power as a subject of the formula, we've got the total power minus friction losses in the pipe. From this, we can also look at what efficiency we have in the system. The efficiency is the the um, outlet power divided by the inlet power, or one minus the friction head loss over the inlet power. Looking at power head and efficiency in terms of graphs, the first graph we have the vertical axis head and we have discharge along the horizontal axis. And we can see that as we have an increasing discharge, we also have an exponential increase in the friction loss. And this is due to the square term of the velocity in our friction head loss equation. So if we add our friction head loss and our outlet power together, we get the total head available. Our second graph is showing the power curve with discharge. And there we can see that that goes up to a maximum and then it starts decreasing. So we have a maximum power transmission point which is not at the maximum discharge. There's somewhere before that. And then thirdly, we have a graph showing efficiency and discharge. So our efficiency will be maximum at some point and then it will decrease from there. So, conditions for maximum power transmission. Our maximum power transmission occurs when the head loss to friction is one third of the inlet power. So our friction loss uh, in the pipe is equal to FLV squared over 2DG as before. So it's important to remember that our friction head loss is one third of the total input head for maximum power transmission. If we look at a nozzle, we know that the velocity head through the nozzle is V squared over 2G. If we look at the velocity part of this equation, um, we can also determine that we need to multiply the 2GH the square root of 2GH, we multiply that by a coefficient of velocity for the nozzle. In other words, the velocity, the actual velocity is somewhat less than the theoretical value due to a loss through the nozzle. So our coefficient of velocity is calculated by taking the actual velocity in the nozzle divided by the theoretical velocity that you would expect. Then we have a coefficient of contraction, cc, which is a function of the actual area divided by theoretical or geometric area. And in the illustration below, we can see that as the fluid exits the nozzle, we have the nozzle diameter, which is a geometric area. Then the fluid actually contracts before it starts expanding again. So the minimum area would be the actual area or the um, the minimum area that you divide by the theoretical geometric or nozzle area to get your coefficient of contraction. 
We also have a coefficient of discharge, which is a function of coefficient of contraction times the coefficient of velocity.